Are you tired of dying in every dungeon while your pet monkey smells his own asshole? Are you tired of getting ass raped in every veteran dungeon that you walk into? Well, get prepared for a build that'll help you take all those dicks, because here's my Stan BK Juggernauts build. I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! Welcome to one of my ESO build videos. Like each, I'll be going over the gear, skills, CP, food I'm using, playstyle, and then showing some footage at the end. What's going on guys? So today I'm bringing you a PvE tank build. It's the DK Juggernauts build. Now, <clears throat> I'm not much of a pve -er, but I did want to have a character that I could do the dungeons that I need for monster helmets and everything. So I just kind of quickly theory crafted this, um, this tank build. So basically I'm just going to jump into the gear for right now and then we'll go from there. So first... Uh, the monster set I'm using is the Pirate Skeleton. Now this uh, set is blatantly overpowered in my opinion. Uh, some of my buddies use it in PvE and when the Pirate Skeleton procs, uh, you don't see their health moving anymore, period. You just don't. Uh, it's pretty good. It gives you a lot of uh, resistances and the proc itself is really damn good. Now I'm using the well-fitted one right now because I didn't want to use Infused. Um, so I can dodge roll a little bit extra, that's whatever. Um, and then I'm using infused heavy on the shoulders. All heavy guys, all heavy. Now the next set that I'm using is white strikes. Now a lot of people have forgotten about this set, but it's still really good and I don't know why a lot of people don't use it. Um, so these different sets are just going to prevent you from dying, uh, when you get low health. So you're going to be able to survive a lot better than a lot of tanks, um, and you don't take a lot of damage as it is. So white strikes basically it gives you max health, spell resistance. Um, spell resistance is important because in this build I'm a vampire. So uh, spell resistance, uh, health recovery, and when you get below 30% health it gives you a 10k damage shield. So um, I'm going to show you how you can use that damage shield to your advantage a little bit later on. Now the third set that I'm using is Plague Doctors. Now everybody knows that this set is super good, so I decided to use that. So we're using um, white strikes on the chest, um, legs, hands, and feet. I'm using sturdy on some of them, and I'm using reinforced. It doesn't really matter which. Uh, I'm going with sturdy on the boots and belt, and then reinforced on the chest, legs, and um, hands. So it doesn't matter. You can mix and match those. Um, again, uh, the Plague Doctors isn't really that expensive. It's about 5k per jewelry piece. The belt cost me probably around 5k as well. And then I'm using a White Strike Sword and a Plague Doctors Shield. So, <clears throat> White Strikes is actually only active on your front bar. You can make it to where it's active on your back bar as well, though. So I'm using a uh, Plague Doctors Battle Axe Defending on the back bar. Um, the only reason I'm using a battle axe right now or a two-hander in general is because I'm just leveling up my two-hander skill line while I'm doing dungeons and you don't really need, uh, you don't have to have sword and board on your back bar as well. It doesn't really uh, matter because you don't take much damage at all anyway. So um, make sure if you're getting low health that you're on your sword and board bar if you're not running it on both the back bar and the front bar. Otherwise, I recommend that you use sword and board on both bars. <clears throat> so we'll look at my stats. Uh, 10k magicka. You don't really cast a whole lot of magicka abilities, so that's not a big deal. Um, unbuffed, I've got 33k health and 16k stamina. That goes up quite a bit uh, once I'm using my food. So my spell resistance is 30k spell resistance and 26k physical resistance. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the... Alright, so for the skills, uh, most of it's a little bit flexible. Uh, there's only a few skills that you actually have to have on your bar. Um, so I'm using Shield Assault, and that's because I was running Cradle of Shadows, and it's really um, useful in that dungeon. It's useful for interrupting uh, targets as well if you need to, or getting to a target fast. So I'm using that for now. Uh, Absorb Magic, it's good for any projectiles, and it heals you. And then this is probably one of the most important, uh, Invigorating Drain. Uh, it's a vampire skill, and it scales off your health. So the lower your health is, the more it's going to heal you. 21% of your missing health per second, and gains you ultimate as well. 
So that's one of your that's your best heal. I hardly ever use it because I hardly ever get low enough to have to use it. But when I do, you can see my um, health shoot back up. Um, the other one that I recommend that you have uh, for sure is Bone Shield because it also scales off your max health. And it's a really, uh, I think it's like 12k or 15k damage shield. And it also, when you activate the synergy, it gives all your allies one as well. So it's very useful. Uh, these are the two that you definitely have to have. Ransack, I definitely recommend you use over the Undaunted Taunt. Um, that's just because it's uh, stamina instead of Magicka. Yes, you can morph the other one, but Ransack cost almost no stamina, so it's a little bit better in my opinion. Now for my ultimate, I'm using Magma Shell. That's just my oh shit type button if I'm going to die. Um, I don't hardly ever use it though. I use my ultimate on my back bar most of the time. All right, so let's uh, switch over to the back bar. On my back bar, I've got Noxious Breath. This bar is mostly uh, for extra heals and defense and DPS. So uh, Noxious Breath, it applies Major Fracture. Um, and it gives a little bit of poison over time so I can help DPS a little bit I don't have a huge amount of damage but it helps somewhat uh, Igneous Shield, just another shield for your allies if you need it I don't hardly use it that much at all uh, to be honest I sit in most uh, veteran dungeons and block and cast Bone Shield that's pretty much all I do with this build it's super easy face roll to tank uh, so I mean you don't really even have to try with this build um, Coagulating Blood, that's your oh shit heal, just in case you do get kind of low and you happen to be on your back bar <clears throat> and uh, you need a quick heal, then use it. It's a shit heal, but it's what we got. Um, hardened Armor, this is the only time, or the only ability I switch to my back bar for. Um, as you can see, when I put this on, my resistances go up to 35 and 31k. That's more than enough. Most tanks run around 26, 28. So, <clears throat> more than what you need. And then you've got Venomous Claw, just another dot to put on if you need to do some extra damage. And then this is the alt that I use the most, Standard, uh, standard of Might. Um, I mean, it's just all around good. It helps you uh, not take as much damage, and it does some decent damage as well. Now, when I go into PvP and I unlock Warhorn, that's what I recommend you use on your uh, front bar. You should use Warhorn, or you can use... Yeah, just use Warhorn. You can, I guess you could use Bats from the um, Vampire skill line if you want, but I don't see any point in that. Um... Also, before I move on to the next thing, I will not be showing any gameplay of this because, to be honest, I think uh, recordings of me in a dungeon sitting there doing nothing and just taking a little bit of damage is really fucking boring, and I don't want you guys to have to sit through that bullshit, so I'm not going to have any gameplay at the end. I'm just going to show you guys the build. It'll keep the video a little bit shorter as well. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the food. Now for the food, you can use either garlic cod, crusty potatoes or whatever. Gives you max health, max stamina, or you can use uh, tri food. Those are my really my only two options that I would use. I don't have tri food on me, so I'm just using these garlic cod. It works just fine. Gives me extra stamina. As you can see, I put my food on, and my health is just below 40k, and my stamina is at about 21. Um, I just use basic. I just use basic uh, stamina potions. That's really all you need. Uh, you can craft some special potions if you're going to be doing trials or something with this build, but in general, veteran dungeons, all I need is the extra stamina for when it gets low. Don't need health pots or any of that shit. Um, another thing I'm going to go back into uh, the glyphs that I'm using. I'm using very few max health. I'm only using max health on my big pieces and I'm using uh, max stamina on the little pieces. You don't you don't necessarily need a lot of uh, stamina. Now these Plague Doctor's rings, they come in uh, health recovery. Switch them over to stamina recovery. It'll help you out a little bit. Bring your stamina up to about 1100 or so. Um, so that's kind of important as well. So when you get that, um, for the weapons, you can just use life drain or magic, uh, not magic drain, uh, stamina drain. Glyphs if you want, I'm just using Life Drain, just so my healers don't even have to worry about me. Most of the time they just sit in DPS, so. Um, champion points. That'll be the next thing. Alright, so for my champion points, I'm 
using uh, Warlord. I just put a little bit into Warlord. <clears throat> I put uh, plenty into Mooncalf, so I have that extra stamina recovery. Um, and I put uh, about 20 into Shadow Ward uh, to reduce the cost of blocking, since I'm, I don't have a huge amount of sturdy pieces. All right, on to the blue. I'm using 10 in Blessed, give me a little bit of extra healing done. And I put the rest into Mighty and Thermitage just because, uh, just so I have the extra damage. Um, let's see here. I'm putting some, I kind of evened out into Hardy and Elemental Defender. And then I put 25 into Health, or not Health, uh, Heavy Armor, and some into Quick Recovery. That's pretty much how you even them out. Like I said in my past videos, I'm not max CP, so I just kind of even it out. Um, if you are max CP and you want to use this build, then just uh, just kind of even it out the way that I've done it and just add more points into these. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this build. So like I said, get out there, use the Juggernauts build, and start taking that dick. Peace.